Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors. We got some current in the High River. It is the middle of July. We got some fresh bait. It's time to put out some planter boards, do some back drifting, some vertical drifting with this current we got. Let's see what happens. Let's get some baits in the water. So first things first, we need to cut up bait. Now these are moon eye that we caught this morning uh, here locally at Greenup Dam. We're fishing just below the dam to start with. Now these are little on the smaller side so you can use them as a whole piece of bait or you can cut two smaller chunks like this. Now, like I said, this is a little bit on the smaller side for what I like, but the area we're fishing, you know, these smaller baits would be fine because we got a lot of smaller fish here. So. Let's get these baited up and I'll show you guys the second part of this process. Uh, drifting with planter boards can be very, very uh, stress oriented. So take your time, stay relaxed and have fun. Okay, so now that you got everything baited up, one of the biggest things you guys wanna keep in mind is to have you know, the same similar rods and the same similar setups all the way across the boat. That way, whatever one rod is doing you know that they all are doing that. And what I mean is we're gonna have just a regular st Carolina style slip sinker uh, rig today with a good barrel swivel, 80 pound leader line, you know, down to a hook. And this is 50 pound mono, but I'm using all heavy action rods today. I'll have two down straight down beside the boat, and then I'll have four out with planer boards on behind the boat as we drift down through this curve behind us. The next step in this is I want to get the boat going the direction that we want to go. And then I will start by dropping one rod straight down on either side of the boat and get it to where I want it to be, get my speed to where I want it to be, and then I'll start putting out the other four rods out the back of the boat with planter boards on. Now, if you're wondering how I know what those lines underneath the planter boards are gonna be doing, in the beginning, I told you I wanna set these up and I have everything the same. That way, whatever these lines are doing, I know that the lines out behind it, underneath the planter boards are doing the same as well. Now we got everything set up. You can see you got the planter board spread out. This is a super, super good way, effective way to cover a lot of water. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is not a technique that you wanna use in real snaggy areas or real up and down areas. Um, you wanna pick an area that is fairly consistent in depth, uh, fairly consistent in how the ledge runs and fairly smooth. Uh, this is uh, a good technique that I like to use on areas or like transition areas going into a dam or like mud flats, uh, deeper water. Now this is relatively shallow where we're at today, but um, still a good technique for this area. I think we got one on back here in the back here. Now we come quite a little piece and we actually kind of got blowed out of our area uh, by a barge. And a big old rainstorm. You guys can see I changed hats and I got rain gear on now. We're just gonna go right around this curve down here nice and slow. Kind of stay out here in this 20 foot water. Nice little post bomb blue cat to get it started. Not a monster, but hey, we'll take him to get started. The name of this game is really just covering water. Um, I mean, you're, you're vertical drifting, but you're using planter boards to really spread your baits out and cover a lot of water. And hopefully, we got a lot more of this to come today. Now 
Now there wasn't no denying that one. The only thing is, when I clip these boards on, there's two ways you can clip them on. And I put it behind the little peg and it won't come loose. This is absolutely one of my favorite ways to catch catfish. Especially blue cats. Now, if you have two people, it makes that a lot easier. Long, spawned out blue cat. Healthy, healthy looking fish though. Get him back. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> we doubled up. We're doubled up, folks. Just like that. I mean, you can get into them so quick like this. You're just covering so much water. And it is... If you... Oh, oh, easy, buddy. Easy. Oh, old main rascal channel cat right there. Whew, look at that feller. Healthy. Well, I tell you what, this water being 82 degrees, these fish are definitely fighting. But it's important that we, you know, as fun as it is to catch them, is to get them back into that water as soon as we can you know we don't want to leave them laying out here on the deck and you know it's hot it's middle of july even though it's raining and it's cloudy it's still hot out here they've just been wore out and it is is a very important for us to get them fish back into that water as soon as we can Well, here you go, folks. Was trying to get that them other two back out. Had another one go down. Like I was saying, this is a technique you can do by yourself, but I highly, highly recommend you bring somebody along because it can it can be very fast action. I got a I got a planter board either snagged up or going. So, all right, so I had to break that one off, but that gives me a reason to talk about this clip and the planter board. Now, a second ago, you seen me have to unsnap this and then finish reeling in the fish. And in previous videos, you know, I talk about how to clip it to get it to break free so that you're fighting the fish and not the planter board. Well, today 
by myself if I snag up or if I break off I don't want to have to go chasing after the board you know being by myself this is a lot of work to get all these rods out I don't want to have to just get them out break one off and then have to go back and chase a planter board do it all over again so with these clips that I have on here and these are from offshore tackle there's a red the red clips but on the inside of them you can see they have a nipple now if you put the line behind the nipple then just like this one I broke it off but I was able to get the planter board in now I can retie and get right back to it a lot quicker to where if before if you put it in front of the nipple the line will just break free and you guys have seen me talk about that before in other videos but today we're putting it behind the clip so we don't have to chase them down if we break off Oh yeah, I've got us a barge bite. I was just getting stuff situated. I had to scoot in quite a bit. And I was just getting back out here in the main channel and uh, he ain't too far, just right up ahead of us. So, thank you, Mr. Barge. Now this is the only bad part about fighting or putting those the line behind those clips is you gotta fight the board too. Makes the fight a lot funner. Especially if you got kids on the boat. Feels about like the same size what we've been catching. Just another real nice blue cat. Now this is, you know, what you're mainly gonna catch around here, you know, below the Green Up Dam. It gets commercially fished really, really heavy down through here, unfortunately. But uh, there's still a few fish left. Let's get him back. Now that one come off just a, you know, midsection of one of them small ones. Just a small piece of moon eye. That is a ADOT boss cat, about two foot of 80 pound leader line, and then 50 pound main line. and got an eight ounce egg sinker and a bead right there, just like I said before, just a regular old Carolina rig, simple as can be. But you put it underneath that planter board and get it away from the boat, it can be deadly. Boy, that didn't take long at all. There's a minute and 50 seconds on the clock, or on the camera. Just uh, got a bunch of barges had had to lock through, so I had to get out of the way for a little bit. And then uh, come back up here and started back up to the top again. Was gonna drift down through here one more time before I went home. And... Boom, baby. <laughs> And you know, it surprises me, well it doesn't surprise me, but about 80% of the fish we've caught today have come on the farthest outside rod.
Now, like I was saying, you know, about 80% of these fish have come on one of the other farthest outside rods. So hopefully that just proves to you guys how important it is sometimes to be able to get those baits, you know, away from the boat. Not one single fish today has come off the two down rods that are right behind the boat. So sometimes you gotta get them away from the boat. Well, there you have it folks, a little bit of tips and tricks on how to back drift or dead stick in current using planter boards going with the river. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. And until next week, God bless, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water.